Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial with Learn at No Star. Today's exercise is a fun holiday exercise and we are going to attempt to make a Christmas tree pattern using SQL. Hopefully it should be challenging some of your SQL skills and I can tell you that it is a good practice for some SQL concepts like recursive CD. So let's get started. So in step one, I have reciprocated this pattern on an Excel sheet so that I can analyze this pattern and come up with some interpretations on how this pattern can be drawn. I have used simply stars to begin with. So I will first make the pattern only using the stars and it should be beautiful nevertheless. And then we will go uh, and tweak it to make the Christmas tree more attractive. So I'm going to make a 10 level tree so you can see here that the 10 levels to this tree all consisting of stars. In the first level, if you observe closely, there's only one star. As we go down the level, we go to three stars, five stars, seven stars and so on. So one thing that I can notice right now is that this is going in odd numbered pattern. So I have to generate a series of odd numbers or odd on numbered stars for beginning to make this pattern so that is my first interpretation now how do i generate an odd series number is using a simple formula i can do it making it as 2n plus 1 so 2n if it had been an even number we could have simply gone by 2n if it is odd number we can use 2n plus 1 so here if you take uh, n equal to 0 this will result n1 if you take n equal to 1 it will result in 3 and so on so i can keep on incrementing the value of n till here and i should be getting this series of odd numbers so that is one thing that i have in mind now to generate any kind of series i need to use a recursive cde that is the best way to generate a series either of numbers alphabets or a particular pattern so that is what we are going to use here now if you're not clear with the concept of recursive cde then there's a link below in the description you can go and check out that video and it explains recursive cde in detail now another thing to observe here is also that we need the tree to be symmetrical meaning we would need to append it with some spaces and there is a formula for spaces as well that, that we can see and some we can have some interpretations about how many spaces should be on what level but we'll do it as step two so let's first go and do the step one and generate the series of stars and the odd numbered series of stars back to my sql server and i'm going to start writing this cd so x must tree as and for the base level it is going to be just a single star so if you go back to this figure you can see at the first level it is just a single star and then you're going to use this formula to generate this odd pattern of stars so select and this is going to be star as level and then you have to define the counter so the counter is well how many stars you want consecutively so uh, let's define the value of one as n that is going to be a counter and then the second part is a recursive call to this cd so union all and now we have to replicate this star 2n plus 1 number of times so to replicate the star or replicate any character in sql server there is a function by the same name replicate which can simply be used so here you just need to define the character that you need to replicate so i've defined it and how many number of times you want to replicate so it has to be 2n into 1 so 2 into n and plus 1 so these many number of times we want to repeat the star pattern and then what we have to write we have to increment the value of this counter for the next recursive call so next time it has to be five so the value of n should be two in that case so what we need to do is simply n plus one as n and now we have to reference to the same cde that we have just defined from xmas tree and we have to define a termination condition for this recursive cde so how many times will the loop continue so again going back to the figure if i want to go till 19 then the value of n in our case should be 9 so 2 into 9 18 plus 1 is going to give me 19 so it has to be less than 10 and that should be sufficient to define your cte now we are just going to do a select star from this cte that we have just defined above and we should be able to see the odd numbered pattern of the stars
If I execute this CTE, first what you will observe is that there might be an error which will say that the types don't match between the level part. So level part is where we are generating this pattern of stars. So what you can do for that is you can just go ahead and cast this as a unicode character or as any varchar character so i'm just going to do uh, an varchar of let's say 20 over here and the same thing has to be done here so in this case since we have explicitly casted the data type is going to match so if you execute it right here, you will see that you have got the pattern. You have also get, got the values of n's, which we don't need. Since we have done a star, that's why you have got the value for n as well. Now this pattern we have got, but this is not symmetrical. This is not symmetrical because we still need to adjust this pattern. So move the stars according to the spaces. Now again, going back and analyzing this figure, we'll see that in the first step, how many spaces do we need on the left side of the star? We need nine spaces. As we keep on going down, we need one space lesser than the above level. So here we need eight spaces. Here we need seven spaces and so on. And on the ninth level itself, we need one space. So this is that now we are going to concatenate on the left side so that we get a symmetrical Christmas tree. So now we are going to replicate the spaces as well, starting with nine spaces in the beginning, and then you have to go down. Now what we are trying to use here is the same n. We are going to try to use the same n over here. So n in this level, and the second level has a value of one. And what we need right here is eight spaces so if i do nine minus one that should give me eight and here it will be nine minus eight that will give me one here it will be nine minus nine which will give me zero you will see here the number is nine so nine minus nine will be zero nine minus eight will be one and so on so this is the logic that i'm going to use i'm going to put nine minus n spaces every time on each level now in the first level again i'm just going to type the spaces because in the recursive level it is more important to define this logic of generating the spaces in the first level i can just type the spaces so what i'm going to do is use the replicate function again you can also use the space function because it's simply the spaces that we are concatenating now here it's not an empty it should not be empty it should be an space space that we are concatenating and in the first level we saw we have to concatenate nine times so i'm just going to put it nine and then we have to concatenate it with the stars over here now this cast has to come out of this because the overall cast of this particular string should match so i'm going to put it outside and it is going to give you the correct result the same thing i'm going to concatenate down here so again i'm going to take this out now here instead of 9 it is going to be 9 minus n so 9 minus n times the spaces should be there so that is the logic that i have used here i'm going to execute it right again and you will see that a pattern has been generated it looks okay uh, just to verify i'm going to just copy this on a notepad and this is the pattern that we have got so this looks perfect so this looks fine i'm going to try to make it a little more attractive so what we are going to do now instead of the stars that we use we are going to use some dots and on the corners we are going to use the stars so now what's going to happen is that we are going to go down by one level so you can see there's a star in the beginning so that remains the same in the second level now instead of having the three stars that we had here it's just going to be a single star or a single dot and two stars so now here you have got to have you will be having three dots and so on so what is happening we will be generating an odd numbered pattern for dots but now this is going to be starting from here this will be one and this will be three and this will be five and so on so we are going one level down and then we are just going to append it with the star in the beginning and her star at the end 
So what we have to change here, let's just copy this and create a new query. What we have to go, we have to change here is now instead of three coming in the first recursive call, only one should come. So when will one come? Uh, if we are making it as to n plus one, when n is equal to zero. So instead of defining n equal to one here, I'm going to define n is equal to zero over here. So this will give me the one dot that I want in the first recursive call. Now what else we want? We want to concatenate it with stars in the beginning and in the end. So I'm just going to add that part, a star in the beginning and a star at the end. And at the top, we anyways only wanted one star. So we have got that one star. Now let's execute this query and see what is the difference that we get. Okay, so this is okay. Again, you can see uh, the first star you can see is a little displaced. So we need to adjust the space for this one level. So this, if you see in the notepad, uh, we need one more space. If we put one more space, it will come in the middle. And this has truncated because we defined it as n vector 20. So we have to define it of a longer length. So first fixing the level one. So I'm just going to make 10 spaces. So I've just added one more space here. And this, uh, I'm just going to make it, let's say 25. And our last level should be good as well. So now we execute it, and you will see all the levels have are displayed properly. Now to add some more parts to this tree, maybe we would like to add a trunk to this tree. So something like this over here, two pipes. So how many spaces do we need to add to this? So this is going to be your yeah, eight spaces so eight spaces on the left and then you can define this pattern and you should get a log to this tree so to define this pattern it is going to be simple enough what we can do is we can do select level from xmas tree and then we can just do a union all and define a pattern so this is going to be replicate and we saw there were eight spaces so i'm going to replicate eight spaces and let's add the pattern so it was pipe space pipe and that should be good now we would get the error again of mismatching data type so i'm going to cast this to an like have 25 i'm going to get a nice little trunk to add it to this tree as well so this is how you can generate a festive christmas tree simply using sql now there's something in sql server called the spatial data types they can be used to create some kind of a logo or an image in sql server so what we have done is created a simple image over here this can be made more attractive and you can add many more things and many more figures and shapes to it and even change the color of this for now we have used something called a polygon to create three triangles and then we have union used our union operator to combine all these three triangles together as a Christmas tree now the important thing to note here is that you need to know all these longitudinal and latitudinal coordinates to generate this tree and on any logo or image for that matter and this feature has other important application which is not to draw these pictures but this can be used interestingly to create this tree as well it's a very simple script that i'll put down in the link in the description box so you can play around with this script and make it more attractive tree i hope again that you found this very useful and i enjoying this holiday season merry christmas and happy new year to all of you thank you goodbye